What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to cover another part of the weekly updates because it was full of useful information but because there are so many individual subjects to talk about which were big points I will break it down into a few videos which I believe are definitely worth covering. Today we're going to talk about exotic masterworks and I'm going to try and explain everything you need to know. Okay so here is what Bungie said about exotic masterworks. How do you make an exotic feel more exotic? It's a two-part question, including how it feels to acquire and upgrade the weapon and how it feels to use the weapon. To answer the first question, CNA Investment Designer Mark, you will can't pronounce that second name, I apologise, is here to walk us through the process. Quoting Mark right here, our goals in extending masterwork perks and mechanics to exotic weapons are primarily to create new in-game goals for hobbyist players and reinforce specific activities with these long tail pursuits. There were a few problem spaces that we wanted to address when creating the exotic masterwork pursuit. First up, exotics in Destiny 2 are very, very easy to acquire. Many players have most, if not all, of the non-quest exotics. As we don't want to make players re-earn every exotic weapon, exotic masterwork acquisition and progression needed to take place after acquisition. Additionally, we needed to figure out a player-friendly way of representing the process of obtaining and applying an exotic masterwork. The milestone trade doesn't provide a good flow for every exotic masterwork and bounties are planned for summer, as noted on our recently updated development roadmap. With these goals and restrictions, we landed on the following player experience. There will be one exotic masterwork per exotic weapon that exists so far in Destiny 2. In order to begin the masterwork process, players will have to find an exotic masterwork catalyst. When inspecting the exotic, there will be a hint at what activities can grant the catalyst for that weapon. Not all exotic masterworks have the same drop rates. Some exotic masterwork weapons are guaranteed after a certain amount of engagement, while others are earned at random. We see an example on screen now with the cold heart. We see here with this exotic weapon catalyst, this is found via defeating the most challenging enemies in strikes. And this won't be a guaranteed drop, it will be an RNG drop. Obviously a part of the loop pool from certain enemies within strikes. I would say maybe strike bosses, but I'm sure that would be mentioned here. Quoting Bungie again right here, once acquired the catalyst can be applied to immediately enable orb generation on double kills for the weapon. Exotic weapons with catalysts applied will also start tracking enemies defeated like their legendary masterwork weapon counterparts. After applying the catalyst, there will be bounty like objectives available that need to be completed in order to upgrade to the final masterwork state which will apply stat perk bonuses to the weapon. Again. We see an example with the cold heart. Once that catalyst is obtained, the next step is making this exotic a masterwork and gaining that extra stat and perk. To do this with the cold heart, you have to defeat enemies using this weapon. So this one I'm guessing is going to be relatively easy compared to others. Quote in Bungie again right here. A few masterworks will require you to do single things, while others will have multiple steps. These objectives will vary in difficulty and length, but will not be determined by RNG. The goal for these objectives is to push the player to engage with the weapon that they wish to make into a full masterwork. When it comes to difficulty, there are a few exotic masterworks paired with difficult activities or accomplishments in game. We're expecting that there may be one or two exotic masterwork weapons that give players the opportunity to set goals in mastering specific activities in order to earn their most desired masterwork. To get ahead of a few questions we're expecting, here's a quick roundup of more specific notes. Exotic weapon masterwork pursuits only need to be done once per account. You don't have to chase your white whale on each character. Through the masterwork process, duplicate drops of an exotic weapon via engrams, milestones or even the exotic collection will be initialised at your current masterwork upgrade state. The exotic masterwork process takes place fully in the weapon details screen. There won't be any objectives that take up your character inventory space. Not all exotic masterworks will be available immediately when season 3 begins. If you inspect an exotic weapon and a masterwork socket is not visible, the catalyst is not yet available. We won't be publishing guides on how to acquire specific exotic masterworks, this is in your hands. As with all things in Destiny 2, these new features are subject to evolution. We will be monitoring acquisition rates and community reactions once these are in the world and adjusting as needed. And guys, that's all she wrote. So to quickly summarise these exotic masterworks, 
Come season 3, exotics will be upgradable to exotic masterworks. Not every exotic will be available at the start of season 3. The ones that are upgradable will take two steps to become a true masterwork. The first step is obtaining a catalyst. There is a hint at how this is obtained when inspecting that said weapon. Once you have done that said activity or challenge and got that catalyst, the weapon will now generate orbs and double kills, but it doesn't end there. There will be a bounty like challenge for you to do to unlock the full exotic masterwork and get that additional stat and perk bonuses which come with these masterworks. So it sounds super fun and super cool. And guys, that is all there is to know really. So come May 8th, we will see which exotics will be upgradable. I truly hope Bungie don't try and pull a fast one and limit us to one per week to make content last. That would be a complete joke. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.